Zebras are one of the most iconic animals in the world, known for their distinctive black and white striped coat. These equids, which are related to horses and donkeys, are found in the grasslands and savannas of Africa. However, despite their close relationship to domesticated animals, zebras have never been successfully tamed or domesticated. In this video, we will explore the biological and geographical reasons why zebras cannot be tamed, as well as some of the attempts that have been made to domesticate them. Biological Reasons One of the main reasons why zebras cannot be tamed is their temperament. Zebras are known for being skittish and unpredictable, making it difficult to establish a bond of trust with them. They have a strong fight-or-flight response, and can become aggressive when they feel threatened or cornered. Unlike horses and donkeys, which have been selectively bred for thousands of years to be docile and easier to manage, zebras have never gone through this process. Another factor that makes zebras difficult to tame is their social structure. In the wild, zebras live in herds, and are fiercely independent. They do not have a strong hierarchy or a leader that humans can establish dominance over. This makes it challenging to establish a relationship of trust and obedience between humans and zebras. Geographical Reasons Zebras are native to the African savanna, where they have evolved over millions of years to adapt to the harsh conditions of their environment. The savanna is a vast grassland with scattered trees and shrubs, and it is home to a variety of predators like lions, hyenas, and leopards. In this environment, zebras have developed a heightened sense of awareness and a strong fight-or-flight response, which makes them quick to react to any perceived threat. This makes them challenging to control and manage in a human environment. Furthermore, the African savanna is a vast and unforgiving landscape that is not conducive to human settlement. The terrain is rugged and difficult to navigate, and the climate is hot and arid. This makes it hard for humans to establish a permanent presence in the savanna and to domesticate animals like zebras. Attempts to Domestication Despite the challenges of taming zebras, there have been some attempts to domesticate them. In the 19th century, the British colonizers in South Africa made several attempts to domesticate zebras, primarily for use as pack animals. They believed that zebras, being native to Africa, would be better adapted to the local environment than horses or mules. One of the most famous attempts at domesticating zebras was made by the German naturalist Karl Hagenbeck in the late 19th century. Hagenbeck believed that zebras could be trained to pull carriages and plows, and he developed a technique for capturing and training them. He would capture young zebras and raise them with horses, gradually introducing them to human contact and harnesses. However, Hagenbeck's attempts were largely unsuccessful, as the trained zebras often reverted to their wild behavior and could not be relied upon to perform domestic tasks. In modern times, some zoos and wildlife parks have successfully trained zebras to perform in shows and circuses. These trained zebras have been taught to perform tricks and stunts under the guidance of experienced trainers. However, it is important to note that these animals are not truly domesticated, and they still retain their wild instincts and behaviors. In conclusion, the biological and geographical factors that make zebras difficult to tame and domesticate are complex and intertwined. Their temperament and social structure make it challenging to establish trust and obedience, while their adaptation to the African savanna makes them difficult to control and manage in a human environment. Subscribing and liking the video are a great help thanks for watching.